Hey everybody and welcome to another Total Drama Bracket video! My name is Silly Billy, but you can call me Billy. It has been a while that we've done one of these, but we actually have a new generation of characters, which means we have a new reason to return to the Bracket series once more. Yes! This is probably going to be the first of two times that I'm going to run a Bracket with these characters. And that is of course because Season 2 isn't out just yet. So I imagine that a lot of the characters that I'm about to talk about are going to change pretty drastically. I actually don't really know who my favorite character is just yet, so I'm going to find that out with you right here. That being said, consider subscribing if you like to see more of this type of content. And without further ado, let us begin round one. Now, round one starts us off with Emma versus Priya. I am going to mainly talk about the character that is dropping out in a round, and I think ugh, it's already really hard, but I think I'm going with Priya over Emma. And the reason that I'm dropping out Emma here is that Emma without Chase doesn't really seem to have a purpose on the show. Now, this could also be said for Priya as well. Yeah. That. That. That's it, but then with Millie, of course. Anyway. <laughs> Emma, to me, the last couple of episodes, they kind of fumbled on her story, and I think it's deliberate. I think there's more to tell with this character, but for now, if I have to choose between either her or Priya to make it to the next round, I am moving ahead Priya. Nichelle versus Scary Girl. This is, of course, a super easy pick, which is going to Scary Girl. Scary Girl was really funny, in my opinion, and Nichelle was just not it. I think Nichelle is one of the least interesting characters of this season, definitely one of the lesser realized characters of this season and while there are characters who got to do less than her for example Caleb and Axel uh, she did actually get sort of an arc throughout this season and I don't really know what they're gonna do with her next so I'm, I'm dropping her out here Michelle was just not my character we move on to Raj versus Millie which is going uh, I don't know this is tough there's so many likable characters here uh, give it to Millie give it to Millie fine Raj was fine he was fun but that's about it. And Millie also had a very cute... Beforehand, I wouldn't have said that Millie survived one round. Uh, f throughout most of the season, I wanted Millie to drop out because I thought she was a little bland for the show. But towards the end, I really started rooting for Millie. I think she's adorable. And after re-watching the season, watching Millie from the perspective of knowing where she's going to end, she is really cute. So, Millie moves on. Caleb versus Julia. I don't think this one needs explanation when I say Julia, of course, moves on instead of Caleb. Caleb didn't really get to do anything this season so i am moving ahead julia in favor of him hopefully caleb gets to do something more next season although it would be kind of funny if he's the first boot but for now yeah of course if we're comparing him to the main villain of the show with multiple angles to the character instead of just being hot and being justin but without the fun justin storylines then of course Julia is moving on. All right, moving to the other side already. Yeah, there's only 16 characters here, so the bracket is quite a bit smaller than it is in other videos. We have MK versus Z, which is probably the easiest choice on this entire bracket. It, of course, goes to M... No, 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 I'm just kidding. You thought uh, for a second that I didn't just come up from a video harassing MK, did you, MK fans? <laughs> No, of course MK is not moving on. MK is, in my opinion, one of the least enjoyable, if not the least enjoyable character of the new season. Meanwhile, Z is super fun. We'll see him in the next round as well. For now, let's roast MK a little bit further. I don't like MK, just not at all. Her personality is not fun. I like the gimmick to her character of her trying to be in the shadows, but I don't think it was pulled off that well. And her just being snarky for snarky's sake made her a lesson version of Noah, in my opinion. And so, MK is out. Chase versus Ripper, the best bros. Who of these is going on? I have to give it to my boy Ripper. I love Ripper so much. Chase was really fun as well. I absolutely enjoyed his misogyny. It was really fun to watch. I love that they didn't really try to go around it like he's just an asshole and everybody knows it except for Chase and that made it even better. So Chase definitely one of the better characters of this season as well, but when compared to Ripper... Sorry, Chase, you're going. Bye! At least you get Emma. Bowie versus Wayne is also a really interesting choice. I have to give it to Bowie, right? Wayne was incredibly fun. I would have loved to put him a little further, but when matched against Bowie, I don't think I can justify it. Because Bowie was and funny and had a good storyline this season, whereas Wayne only really had the former, so unfortunately, we lose out of Wayne here. Damien versus Axel as the final fight of round one, and this one is going to Damien. Axel is a fun idea, but not a fun realized concept just yet. I think we'll get to see more of her in the next season. I really hope so, otherwise 
Axel might take the crown for most potential wasted character. But for now, yeah, Axel just drops out in favor of Damien. Damien's chaoticness was really the absolute highlight of his character for me. Please, Damien, bring your chaos next time we see you. That would be so much fun. Moving on to the final eight characters already. Yep, it's going really quick. <laughs> Our first battle of round two is Priya versus Scary Girl. Now, this is a very, very tough one. Do I go for the main character with the fun storylines and with the great development and the friendship with Millie? Or do I go with the character who was really fun but not really developed at all oh i find it hard i find it hard oh. ah screw it scary girl you're getting the win here sure scary girl was just a really fun idea for a character and we hadn't really seen anything like scary girl so far meanwhile priya well i do think she is the best executed out of the Characters that follow her archetype, yes, I also include Zoe in that list, I know, shocker. I do think it, it's a trope that we've seen before, right? Priya isn't really anything new, despite her being the best version of what we've got to see so far. Priya doesn't bring anything particularly new to the table, where a scary girl is a completely new archetype for a character, and I just really liked the, the humor that she brought to the show. Millie versus Julia is again a really tough one, because both of these characters have something that allows them to drop out now, in favor of the other because Millie is pretty bland for the middle part of the show where she is just randomly writing scribbles here and there where the Priya and Millie friendship is slowly building up but not really paying off and then Julia is a very interesting character in concept and then after her twist becomes a pretty generic villain so it's one is more bland at the beginning, one is more bland towards the ending, but overall, I think out of these two, Julia is more consistently enjoyable. So I am going to drop out Millie here in favor of her. I enjoy Millie, but there's a reason that she was a late addition to the A crew. Meanwhile, Julia has been in A tier for the entirety of the season, I believe. And yeah, justifiably so, Julia was just really fun. Moving on to arguably the hardest choice I've had to make so far, Z versus Ripper. I don't know, I adore both of these boys. Though I think I just re-watched the entire season, uh, I think the Dubsky has to go to Z. Z is just so incredibly funny. There are a few times where Z doesn't manage to make me laugh, which is impressive. His writing is just so incredibly sharp. Ripper, meanwhile, I love Ripper. I really hope that Ripper gets to win the next bracket. When we do season two, I have a feeling that Ripper's going to get that underdog development and Ripper's going to destroy challenges and Ripper's going to have this soft side and everybody's going to love Ripper and everybody's going to come here and they are like, oh my God, Billy, you were right from the start. And I'm like, yeah, I know, I'm that good. I believe in the Ripper supremacy. It is coming one day. Right now, it's just not really there yet. Although I do adore Ripper, I can already see the soft side to him, the tender side, the loving side. And I really, really hope that they get to do that in the next season. If Ripper ends up going pre-merch, I'm going to be so sad. I feel like there is a winner's journey for Ripper laid out. And I just really hope that he's going to take it. But if I have to grade on this season and this season alone, Ripper is kind of a bully character. And I tend to not be a fan of those characters. Which is surprising because with Ripper, it really didn't annoy me as much as with other characters. Even though Ripper's never really portrayed as this character who you're supposed to really like. But I just, I just find the boy enduring. Now moving on to Bowie versus Damien. Oh my god, that is just as hard if not an even harder choice to make i'd like to say that damien is more enjoyable but he does have far less episodes up his sleeve so which of these two weighs out heavier Ugh, i don't know all right time for me to be a little controversial here as much as i want to move ahead bowie here I think I'm going with Damien. Now I know, I know, I know, that doesn't make sense. When I made the tier list, there were three characters that appeared in S tier and Bowie was one of them. And why am I now putting him lower than a character that I put in A tier? Well, for starters, shut up. Don't judge me. I can change in my opinions. They can differ over time. Is Damien now suddenly an S tier character? No, I don't think he is. But I just think he's really fun. I come straight from watching the season again and Damien is just really enjoyable in the episodes that he gets to appear on. Just this, the, the chaos that this man brings. I loved it so much. I cannot express enough how enjoyable Damien is for the few episodes he gets to be on. If I were to do this list again, maybe even tomorrow, probably I would move Bowie ahead. Let's call it a brain fart. This is just a current brain fart of mine where I really want to see Damien in this final four. 
Just, just sue me. If you don't agree, sue me. Speaking of Final Four, this is them. Two girls, two guys. What a beautiful distribution and what a beautiful range of characters we have right here. Starting off on the left here for the semi-finals, we have Scary Girl versus Julia. Now, this is pretty similar to the discussion we just had with Bowie and Damien in that one character is arguably a far more enjoyable but gets to be in far less episodes and then one character is just this chaotic being for most of the season but not with the highest highs that scary go can have so which of them am i going to move on i think in this case i have to kind of give it to julia julia while being a little more bland is super enjoyable in the role of the villain she is just so energetic so chaotic so evil and I really liked her twist of being this zen influencer type to snapping and being like, okay, this is the real me. <laughs> Overall, I really enjoyed Julia. Knowing beforehand that she was going to be the villain made the second rewatch a whole of a lot funnier as well. And yeah, there's just... Scary Girl, as much as I would like to move her ahead, does have some moments where she isn't as funny. Scary Girl has a really high highs, but also has a couple of jokes that make me cringe. Yeah, that's just the best word to describe it. They just make me cringe. So, no, I don't think Scary Girl is moving ahead in favor of Julia. If I have to put a character in the finale, I don't really think Scary Girl is deserving of the title. To the right side, we have Z versus Damien. Now I need to think. This is really hard again. But I have to, have to give it to Z. Z, oh, no, Sue, Z, come back. Thank you. I'll save the Z discussion for the finale here, but Damien, yeah. As much as I would love to reward his chaoticness, he did only get to be amazing in five episodes. Well, Z gets to be amazing in, what is it? Eight? Nine? Something like that? Maybe Damien got to appear more. I don't know. Anyway, Z and Damien are pretty much on the same level of funniness. Although maybe Z is even a little funnier. And then it becomes a numbers game and Z just dominates over Damien. I'm curious how this changes for next season, but for now Z is going to the finale here. Bringing us to the finale, which is apparently Julia versus Z. Now, who is winning this? I think you might have an idea. I think I've been a little overly positive about one character throughout this entire game. And how could I give this to any other character than Z? Z is just phenomenal i think he might honestly legitimately be the funniest character we've had in total drama so far i love z i here it comes <clears throat> i really like z there it is <laughs> z is so pure z is so innocent z is a comedy factory he churns out joke after joke and it's just so easy to root for this man the way that he teams up and then has the alliance of seven try to vote out chris it's just it's all so z and it's all so funny Meanwhile, Julia, I really enjoy Julia, but between those two, uh, there's there's a big, big gap. So yeah, Z wins this first bracket of the new generation of characters, and I'm really curious how this bracket is going to change once we get to season two. Maybe Z will still be at the top then, <laughs> who knows? Maybe he will be dominated by somebody else then. Oh god, maybe Z falls off horribly, gets derailed beyond belief god that would be so sad but for now he takes the win and i love him for it let me know if you agree with this opinion maybe you have another character at the top and if so let me know which character that is and i want to give a special shout out to the silly supporters which are Peter geit mooi naman kalen strimbu emerald gaming javi koopa mevers iggy ignatius and media films thank you so much for your support guys it goes straight into making more and better videos and it's just so nah thank you thank you that's all i can say and if you would like to become a channel member there should be a little button down below you can click it it only costs you like two bucks i believe for the lowest tier and it's on a pay as you like basis so if you get the lowest tier you get all the advantages that higher tiers also would get it's just that then you can pay me more money and i like more money <laughs> also if you would like to talk a little bit more with me or with the community then you can join us via the discord link which will bring you to the silly billy duck pond the official discord server for the silly billy channel it's a really fun community and we would love to grow it even further. All right, I think I annoyed you enough with plugs and shameless promos and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna say thank you so much for watching. This has been Silly Billy. And remember, you can't be voted off if you bundle everyone into one giant alliance. Out of